handpicked to serve as a member of the United States Air Force Honor Guard. My standards of conduct and level of professionalism must be above reproach, for I represent all others in my service. Others earn the right for me to wear the ceremonial uniform, one that is honored in a rich tradition in history. I will honor their memory by wearing it properly and proudly. Never will I allow my performance to be dictated by the type of ceremony, severity of the temperature, or size of the crowd. I will remain superbly conditioned to perfect all movements throughout every drill and ceremony. Obligated by my oath, I am constantly driven to excel by a deep devotion to duty and a strong sense of dedication. Representing every member, past and present, United States Air Force. I bow to stand sharp, crisp, and motionless, for I am a ceremonial guardsman. This is the United States Air Force Honor Guard. For more than 50 years, this group of hand-picked individuals has continuously represented the United States Air Force in official ceremonial functions here in the Washington, D.C. area and around the world. This elite ceremonial unit is continuously tasked to represent the Air Force at these official functions and ceremonies. More than 200 airmen make up this team of ceremonial guardsmen. To become a member of this elite unit, you must be the sharpest of the sharp and willing to forsake self on behalf of all others in your service. The Honor Guard's legacy began in 1948. World War II was over. President Truman was in the White House. The Air Force celebrated its first birthday in the recently built Pentagon. And across town at Bowling Air Force Base, a small ceremonial unit was created and activated within its Air Police Squadron. This was the beginning of the Air Force Honor Guard. And as the Air Force evolved with new planes and weapons, so did this ceremonial unit. Through the years, the Honor Guard has welcomed visiting heads of state, VIPs, and rendered honors to fallen airmen and an assassinated president. Today, the Honor Guard continues with its diverse mission. Let's take a look at the individual teams and see what makes them tick. Future Honor Guardsmen receive training here at the Air Force Honor Guard headquarters. Potential Guardsmen must meet or pass stringent requirements. The training is tough and expectations are high. The Honor Guard's primary mission is to render final honors at Arlington National Cemetery. Every day, veterans of the Air Force, our fallen heroes, pass on. The Honor Guard body bearers and firing party render respect and final honor. Honor for a lifetime of service. These ceremonial guardsmen honor those who have paid the ultimate price for freedom. Being on the Bears team is all about teamwork. It's about being strong, it's about being proud, it's about representing the Air Force and being a, a stronghold for, for a family that's grieving through a very difficult time. We are the last to let that person down and we are in front of the family the entire time and we definitely have to be on point. Whether it's a standard honors funeral or a full honors funeral, I mean, the mission is still the same, and that's to do our best because it is possibly the last impression that those family members could have of any military whatsoever. It's probably one of the most rewarding things you can do here. Uh, I mean, being the last person to let that family member down uh, just takes a toll on your body your mind. When we do get out there, no funeral is alike. Every funeral is going to be different. Even though here in our ceremonial hall, uh, we'll be doing things the same exact every time. But out there, everything's going to be different. <coughs> it's 
no job that's not important, no matter if there's one family member there or there's 50 family members there. Uh, we always do the job right. We always do it the way it's supposed to be done, and we always represent the way we're supposed to. First of all, we're representing every member of the Air Force, past and present, and um, to be able to do that gives you a sense of pride and doing your job well. It just feels really good. Uh, I can't, I really can't put it into words how to express how it makes me feel. This is the best job on earth. I wish everybody could do this job. I honestly do because there's, you just don't get experiences in other places like you do here. Definitely don't want it to, to end, but you know, one day it will have to end and um, I'll definitely keep supporting the Honor Guard and everything that they do once my time has come and I'm, and I'm far gone from here. Firing party goes out for the funerals, and their mission is to fire seven, like to fire off seven rounds at a funeral, and make it sound like one. So it might not be, or might not look like one of the hardest jobs, but it's overall the hardest to perfect. The individual families and the individuals who are affected is what makes every funeral special. You have to learn the manual, not only um, the written portion but the actual execution portion. You have to learn the sequence of the ceremony, how to do what, when to do it, and it has to look good. Hiring hard. Starting out, it's, you know, it takes a lot of training. You know, it's not as easy as it looks. It still seems like every job is the first job to me. And then getting to be NFP, who's in charge of the line and gets to call commands and stuff like that, you feel like it's even more personal because you're, you're in charge of what's going on, you're in charge of your line, and it's definitely a, it's a privilege. Hot up! Hot up! We do other jobs at the White House, at the Capitol. We do parades, which are great, representing the Air Force, but our true mission out at Arlington, rendering those honors, it's definitely a humbling experience and it's definitely the, the most rewarding to me. In my mind, I want the job to be great, I want it to be perfect, I want everything to sound perfect. If my price sounds good, families, you know, think we did a good job, I'm fine with that. They don't have to know my name, just know that, you know, fine price did a good job. Being able to do this job right out of basic, it opened my eyes to you know, what the Air Force really is about, what the Honor Guard is about, what Arlington National Cemetery is about. It definitely is something that I'll, I'll never forget. It's definitely a once in a lifetime experience. One of the functions ceremonial guardsmen perform is carrying colors. These individuals stand confident and proud of the flags they carry, which include the Stars and Stripes, the Air Force flag, as well as their squadron flag. Two weapons stand beside, signifying protection of the colors. To many ceremonial guardsmen, this isn't considered work, but an exhibition of precision. The job of us as colored troops in the Honor Guard is to 
carry and protect the colors of the United States and the Air Force. You hear stories about soldiers who would give their lives essentially to make sure that the colors do not hit the ground. And I remember watching the BMT recruiting video for the Honor Guard and thinking, you know, people have given their lives for this and what greater honor, what better way to start my Honor Guard career, my Air Force career, than to carry the flag. The colors element can be found everywhere, at a change of command ceremony, at special arrival ceremonies and reunions. Plus, when you see the Air Force at a parade in downtown Washington, chances are it's the Honor Guard representing the Air Force. We go out in front of every watching eye out there to represent the national flag, the, the, the entire United States of America. That's what we're out there to represent right there. Just the overall look of of carrying the colors, of being not just yourself, but the representation of this unit of the United States Air Force and the United States of America. It's like waking up every day and, and going to work, but you don't feel like work because you enjoy it so much. You know, just the fact that I'm holding a, a national uh, flag and, and math, just the colors of, of, of the United States um, and, and the Air Force is amazing. It's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling because you know that every single day you go out and you represent the Air Force. Because we, I mean, we don't wear we don't wear name tags. I, I'm not Airman Priest of these families. I'm I'm just an American Airman, and that that's a really great way to start off because. It brings you down to the core essence of why you joined the military in the first place. And so every day I'm reminded of why I'm here. For airmen to be a part of this unit, they must be able to perform to a certain standard. But for those who strive to be the best, who are up for a challenge, who want to shoot for the sky and get as high as they can, the Air Force Honor Guard drill team is what some guardsmen practice night and day to be a part of. It's uh, every, you know, 16 people at the same time throwing an 11 pound weapon. You have to have, you know, the utmost trust in the guy that's a foot from you, like throwing a weapon right beside your head. But that's why we go through so much training is to, to make it where, you know, we're feet away from each other and still able to, you know, keep our bearing, keep our composure and make sure that we make the drill look good. To be a part of this small unit, Airmen push themselves to the edge, practicing as much as 300 hours on duty and countless hours off duty to learn these precise moves. It's hard just going through the tech school where a lot of people don't really make it through. And then going through drill team training, it's a lot harder just because it's eight weeks, 12 hour days. And just as soon as you get your ascot, as soon as you get that coin, I mean, you just, you feel so proud of yourself. You, you make your family proud, you make your friends proud just because not many people are really tough enough to make it through. Repetition and precision are important, for some of these close order drills are dangerous. Precision in all areas is important to the Honor Guard. To be able to take the drill team out to demonstrate the precision that you bring to the table, and then to be able to talk with those people and try to encourage them to either join the Air Force, potentially come to the Honor Guard, or just to become better people and better citizens of this country, is a unique opportunity and one that's very rewarding to be able to see the impact that you have on the lives of the people that are across this country. We call ourselves a band of brothers. We go on trips, we do everything as a team. It's, it's just a big brotherhood. Like We go to national football games, basketball games, pretty much any sport you can think of we've done. It gives you a sense of pride and accomplishment when you actually get that far and you're able to call yourself a member of the drill team. You must be committed. You must be dedicated. You must be willing to not give up even on days when you feel like quitting. You must dig deeper than you have ever dug before. You must be a go-getter, an achiever.
If you can meet all those challenges, commitment, responsibility, desire, dedication, integrity, the Honor Guard is the job for you.